So D Wade had a pretty interesting landing last night. It's like what December 9th, um, uh, in the the game against uh, the Timberwolves. He had this front slide landing, which isn't something I've really seen him do, and it's not a way that um, I ever land. I don't know how to do this, but I thought it was really interesting because Dwayne Wade is kind of known for being an acrobat in the air and landing sliding. Um, some less experienced um, armchair watchers or whatever call him a flopper, but officials never, he, he doesn't get fined. Uh, commentators don't note on it because uh, it's really about protecting his body. People know that he supposedly has bad knees. Um, so this year, with his bad knees, he's more efficient than ever, still putting up 18 points a game. Obviously, his minutes are more limited, but... Um, I'm very impressed by the way that D-Wade is aging. Um, he's only 6'4", undersized shooting guard in the NBA, future Hall of Famer, um, still relying on athleticism and being a high-efficiency player around the rim. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with his landings over the course of his career as uh, he's very creative at taking the impact from these jumps off his body. Um, and this jump in particular is kind of interesting to me. Um, you'll I'll usually see him try to get to his back and get on his butt. Um, here he is kind of a side landing, but you'll see that a lot of what he does is tries to transfer his momentum into a slide. Uh, you're going to see his right hand hit the ground pretty early here, and he's pushing off of that, um, allowing him to slide forward, getting to his front. You can see his right hand and his left hand. Both his right hand and his left hand get to the ground and basically tug at the ground, pulling him forward, um, which uh, basically transfers all of his momentum into a forward slide. You see him cover a couple of feet. Um, and I just think that's very interesting. It's something that I'm interested in trying myself. I don't, so that I can just have a long, pain-free uh, basketball career. I'm not really sure the best way to, to practice landings like this, probably on some kind of I mean, really hardwood is the best because you, I've practiced on mats, but mats are sticky. You, you can't slide on them, so you can't actually make moves like this on mats, um, or or even on turf. Hardwood is hardwood you, you can slide on. So, um, yeah, I mean that's all I really have to say, I guess. Um, uh, if you want to check out um, other D Wade landings, I have a video how D Wade lands. Um, where I check out his back landings in slow motion, and I have a video where I show myself practicing the same move. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind, his landings are important, and I think D. Wade is like the number one guy to look at as. Um, his longevity is kind of surprising, honestly. I, uh, I was expecting his efficiency to drop, and I think a lot of people were, and it, it really hasn't, and he's impressing, and he's someone to look at. So. Peace out, everyone. Everybody land safe. Everybody sky to the rim.